What is going on, Phantom Army? It's your boy Phantom Stilts, and welcome back once again, guys, to a brand new video on the channel. Uh, today, we're taking a look at one of the best kept secrets of the streaming software that I use, which is OBS Studio. I used to use Streamlabs OBS, now I use OBS Studio because it's a little bit easier to manage. But without any further ado, we're going to get into one of the best kept secrets in streaming software that there is so without any further ado guys let's get right into obs studio and i'm going to show you guys right now what i'm talking about all right guys so here we are in obs studio this is the streaming software that i use for all of my streams and all of my recordings when i do go live as well as recording all of my gameplay and videos for my youtube channel as well as twitch so one of the coolest things that i said i was going to show you guys is actually really really simple and it takes probably less than 30 seconds to actually do and complete it is called the auto configuration wizard this is going to save you numerous amounts of time headaches it's just it's going to make everything in your life absolutely 100 percent easier and it's a really really cool feature that not a lot of people know about so it's actually found if you guys go up in obs it's actually found in the toolbar which is actually right up here it's in tools and what you're going to do is the audio configuration wizard now guys what the audio configuration wizard actually does is it auto configures your streamlabs obs or your obs studio as we are in right now configures it to optimize it for either streaming or recording. Now OBS or Streamlabs OBS rather actually does it for all of the uh, platforms that you're going to be using. So streaming and recording with OBS studio, you can actually tailor it to actually prefer if you prefer streaming over recording or vice versa, it will auto configure your OBS studio software to those uh, preferences. It's really, really cool. So like I said, I'm going to show you guys how it works and what it actually does involving the test. I'm going to show you that guys right now. All right, guys, as you can see, we're about to start the auto configuration wizard that we were just talking about in the video. So usage information, specify what you want to use the program for so you can optimize it for streaming. Recording is secondary, optimize just for recording. I will not be streaming or I will only be using the virtual camera. And it says a little synopsis of what the audio configuration wizard actually does. The auto configuration wizard will determine the best settings based on your computer specs and internet speed. This can be run at any time by going to the tools menu where we just were. So you go ahead and go down here and hit next. And you're going to set your base canvas resolution. Your base canvas resolution is going to be the resolution of your monitor that you are gaming and uh, playing your games on. And then you can set the FPS to either 60 or 30, but prefer 60 when possible. Or you can set it to the current, which is 60. And uh, you can have a couple different options here, but you can use that at your leisure. I usually set it to either 60 or 30, but prefer 60 when possible. And then we're going to hit next. And what it does is also going to find a stream information. So you're using, I'm using the service for streaming, which is Twitch. I'm going to prefer a hardware encoding, which is going to use your graphics card. And it's going to estimate your bit rate with bandwidth test. And it's just going to take a few minutes for it to run through the actual test. So then we'll hit next here. Just waiting here. There we go. Okay. So as you guys can see, I'll zoom the camera in a little bit. So as you guys can see, the final results of my test, the program has determined that these estimated settings are the most ideal for you. So as you can see, my service is Twitch. The server is auto-recommended. It, rec it, it uh, recommended a 6,000 um, kilobits bitrate for me. The streaming encoder is going to be my hardware NVENC. My encoder for recording is going to be my hardware NVENC or my 2060 uh, RTX uh, GeForce graphics card. Then we're going to have a high quality medium file size as our recording quality. Our base canvas is going to be 1920 by 1080. Our output is 1920 by 1080. And then our FPS is obviously 60. So what you can do is after this time, after this test is finally done, you can actually hit the apply settings, which is our, where our mouse cursor is right now. Apply those settings. And there you have it, guys. That is all it takes for you to set up a successful OBS Studio software. It's one of the coolest things I've ever seen in any piece of software. Lots of softwares have auto configuration wizards to sort of alleviate the headaches and alleviate the stress of coming up with the optimized settings for your hardware and your internet connection. Whether you're streaming, recording, the auto configuration wizard takes care of all of that for you. Without any further ado, I hope you guys enjoyed this OBS uh, and Streamlabs tutorial. Make sure to like and subscribe if you guys are brand new to the channel. We're just over 830 subscribers on the channel. I would really appreciate it if you guys would join the Phantom Army and continue with me on the content creation we're having on the channel. But without any further ado, like I said, this is your boy Phantom Stilts. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Thank you so much for coming by the channel and I will see you guys on the next video. Take care guys.